Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and don't be lazy. Uh, we as a Christian, we have a duty. And if you are here just to watch, please leave. We want and we need real Christians who they are really in love with their Lord. If you are just here coming for fun entertainment, maybe you can watch the video later. Or maybe you better not to watch it. To be a Christian is to be a warrior for Christ. If you are not, change your name. Join a different religion. Ask yourself a question right now. Are you a warrior for Christ? Or you are just a potato? Who is just a number in this earth? You don't count. Nobody consider you. You have no voice. Choose one. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. You have no fruit, he don't know you. So size yourself. See how big, how small you are. And fix that if you are too small. Today, our topic is about how and why Muslims, they say that Jesus was a Muslim. You know, the Mohammedan who worship Muhammad, the black stone kisser, they insult Jesus in purpose in order to lower his status. And please download the videos after we finish. I will try to make this video short and I will make another video short, another video short. So today we will be, because uh, people, they complain that my video is too long to download, too long to watch. So I will make this video. We will take a break for maybe 15, 20 minutes. We will come back in an additional video still about Jesus being a Muslim but each time we'll get them busted about Jesus is not a Muslim and the purpose is to insult Jesus yesterday this coward so I have who claimed that he can debate me who is upset because a title says this is Sabil Ahmed but it's not him and his video it says it clearly that we thought the guy he is him and it's not him but they make a drama about it and the liar who lie 24 hours seven days a week accuse us of, of lying he claimed even he can debate me but he want to do it face to face all of them they knew that the christian prince don't do such a thing and this is why they say face to face because they are super coward not just coward they will debate anyone over the phone over skype he just said that people converted to Islam over the phone. That's mean he speak to them over the phone. But he will never do that to me. He just said in the video that 10 people, which I find very funny. I look in your channel. In the whole year, past year, we did not see 10 people who converted to Islam. You have interview with people who converted to Islam. And there is one person converted to Islam. I did not see those 10 people. Where? 10 people last 10 days converted to Islam. You are a fraud. I have thousands of people converted to Islam life where right here. Now, converted out of Islam. Listen to this idiot insulting Jesus in purpose, so you disrespect him. Look what he said. Really quickly, a few points for this person, a message for this person. First and foremost, stop lying. Stop lying, man. Come on. You know that's not me. If you want to debate me, the real Sabil Ahmed debate with me, but you see that you coward, you idiot. I made tons of videos for you. You never respond, and you claim you never saw my video. And later you claim that I made your channel grow, which means you are seeing my videos, which means you are a stupid officially. Secondly, you keep saying debate me, debate me, give me, I, I will call you. Make a video, say Christian Prince, this is my phone number. If you don't want to have a Skype. Say, Christian Prince, please call me in the day of etc., in the time of etc., and I will be happy to call you to your phone. Be a man. Consider me somebody who want to convert to Islam. What you will lose? I will make everybody from Indonesia to America die laughing at you. And this is why you will never accept. You see, the one who put conditions to debate someone is the one trying his best not to make it happen because you know 
what will happen if you do it and look what he's asking for listen carefully come away from behind the screen see this is the first condition come away from behind the screen he knew that the christian prince i am not good looking like you man look at you and by the way because i think because you were lying too much when you were a kid until you grow your ears is coming out of your head because your mama she was grabbing you from your ear each time you lie come away from behind the screen are you talking to me right now i am not in the screen so how come now you are talking to me so you made a video whining like a cat to tell me come from behind the screen where is your answers all the videos i got you busted with and you come to me to say i am willing to debate you come from behind the screen and he have a cartoon and by the way i decide because of you you inspire me now i will make a series of cartoon for prophet muhammad and you will see what you just did you inspired me big time your prophet will be the cartoon soon actually i have a cartoon already about him i don't know if you guys you remember when muhammad have a conversation with the donkey uh, many of you saw the cartoon already right now let us see what this guy want to say face to face maybe on a zoom video or face to face maybe in zoom video face to face zoom 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 video he cannot do it uh, 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 excuse me as to ask he want to do it face to face as of the Muslim is interested in my face not my answer but, but because they knew that Christian Prince he don't show himself in camera so all of them they want to debate me face to face Fifi Muhammad Hijab Zakir Naik Sabil Ahmed Shabir Ali all of them they want to debate me face to face that's it face to face coward when you know that your God Allah he don't talk face to face and I am better than your Allah for sure I have way more high ethic than your filthy God who teach you to beat your wife to have sex with the children to insult Jesus so how come you don't say to Allah I don't believe in you unless it is face to face I'm not willing to listen to your answers unless it's your face to face I'm not going to listen to your word unless it's face to face only me because you are a coward put obstacles so people laugh at you Fifi join the she club this is the she club of Muslims all of them when they see Christian Prince they are she she face to face first of all come face to face uh, uh, but uh, everybody knows I don't do face to face garbage why am I do face to face first of all are you saying that you Muslims you will uh, you are peaceful people to the point that somebody he wrote many books against your prophet he will be safe and secure maybe are you, is that what you are saying Abdul a person who made a cartoon against your prophet you must then start burning churches in your country I don't know he's Indian Bangladesh whatever I mean hmm? cartoon they burn even Christian alive You are a coward and you know that you are following a terrorist prophet. Now, now, not only he is doing his taqiyya program, his job is to insult Jesus. Listen carefully. Some other video, you call yourself as a Christian prince. But honestly, let me tell you, uh -huh. Jesus, the son of Mary, the mighty messenger who was a Muslim, his message was Islam. He used to do jihad against people like you. People. Okay. Look how many insults this filthy creature he did to Jesus. Why a Muslim he say Jesus was a Muslim? And now this guy is adding his own garbage saying Jesus was doing jihad. Jesus was doing jihad. Jesus, he said, love your enemy. Plus those who curse you. I mean, how big are the lie can be? Now, today, or in this video, I will try not to make it long, as I said, and we will go live on air again. Remember, we will take a break, we will finish this video, and we will be back on air, maybe 15, 20 minutes, just give me a break. So we will make series in, of like smaller videos, so people can be able to download them easy and pause them again. And please don't say use the same name, be creative. 
like change a little bit of the name because if you use the same name all of them they will appear in the same page in YouTube now let us see what he meant by saying Jesus was a Muslim and he was doing jihad if Jesus was a Muslim number one that mean Jesus was like Muhammad he teach his men to have sex with the children this is Muhammad and this is the story of a Muslim his name is Jabir Jabir was married to a woman who is previously married Muhammad he asked him Jabir did you get married the man he said yes he said is she previously she is virgin or previously married which means widow or divorce I said I said with the previously married women whereupon he said huh, oh, oh, where where had huh, where had you been from the amusement of a virgin here the Muslim they translate the word young child as a virgin if we change just this is, remember this is the Muslim website this is not my website just to show you the fraud of the Muslim translation trying to make it look nicer so I will go to different translation the same story and you will see in different translation it says it clearly that this is a young child as you see here in this hadith this is Sahih Muslim and the name of the book is the book of Sakalin the Prophet is asking men to marry children who they are suckling. Do you see what the story is? The story under the category of suckling. Abdullah died and he left behind him nine or seven daughters. I married a woman who was previously been previously married. Allah Messenger said to me, Jabir, have you married? I said yes again he said a virgin or a one previously married I said a messenger of Allah with one who was previously married whereupon he said why 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 you don't marry a young girl not women and that explain why the title is suckling So that you could sport with her and she could sport with you. So Jesus was a Muslim. And Jesus the Muslim, let us not to call him Jesus now, we will call him Isa because we don't want to insult our Lord just for the sake of education. So Isa, he saw Peter. He said to Peter, Peter, did you get married, Peter? Peter, he said, yes. Prophet Isa. Isa the prophet, the Muslim prophet, said to him, A previously married or her vagina nobody touched yet yet. Peter, the Muslim, not our Peter, he said, Oh, she is a previously married. Her vagina been touched before. Isa, he said to Peter, What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Why? why 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 don't you marry a child from the shelf of Sakhalin so that you could sport with her and she could sport with you or you could amuse with her and she could amuse with you do you see the ethic of Isa the Muslim? Because if Isa, if Isa is a Muslim, as they say, Aka, supposedly they call him Jesus, well, this is what Isa should say. I mean, who is a better teacher than Muhammad? Muhammad is a better teacher in Islam than Isa, for sure. Isa in Islam is not in the highest of Muhammad. All of them, they agree. And this is the purpose of insulting Jesus, saying he's a Muslim. To lower his status, to insult him, to make him no one, this is the plan of the devil. In the top of that, they want to teach you that Isa was a perverted man like Muhammad. They want to teach you that this is the ethic of Isa too. That if you see a man and he is already married and he is happily married, he is not even complaining to Muhammad. 
you give him advice says to him did you did you have a woman her vagina been used or never been used if you say been used Muhammad will be all over you giving you the advice of a sex predator for children's if you have little honesty or dignity ask yourself what is the purpose of this advice if you are a Muslim a Christian or Hindu a Buddha it doesn't matter who you are what is the purpose behind such a filthy crime advice we go and we sleep with little children just for the sake or being amused and how that can amuse us Muhammad wife she was playing with her Barbie you can go right now to the hadith and you will see it says she was playing with her dolls playing with what with her dolls I can actually find you the hadith right away hmm? Aisha reported that the Prophet, may Allah bless him, grant him peace, used to call her, who? Aisha. Her companion, so to her, so they were playing with dolls. Do you see it? The wife of the great Prophet, she is playing with her dolls, and she have little children, playmates, who come to the house to play with her with her dolls and this is reported by Muhammad himself and Aisha as you see so the Muslim they insult Jesus saying that Jesus don't have the ethic the same as Muhammad for Muhammad is way higher and Muhammad the way higher his ethic is to go and have sex with the children who they are playing with their dolls and the ethical prophet he advise a man who have a woman as a wife why you do that why you don't marry a young child like Aisha Aisha she was at the age of six when Muhammad did marry her he was fondling her between the age of six to nine after the age of nine he have full intercourse legally she is his wife at the age of six you see the, the hadith did not say the muslim they would say no 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 he'd have six intercourse it says in the front of you yeah intercourse at six she is legally his wife not engaged to her as you see the prophet married her when she was six the man was 54 years old and now that explained that muhammad is a fraud because if Muhammad like only children's why he married Khadija because of her money she was the richest person in the in, in the in the in the in the city of Quraysh or the, the village of Quraysh listen carefully because here the situation is same this man he married a previously married correct Muhammad first wife was previously married to two husbands before him so how come Muhammad at that time did not complain if he like to marry children's as you see it's obvious Muhammad is saying to the man why you made such a decision I said to him messenger of Allah with one who was previously married whereupon he said why 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 don't you marry a child girl young girl that could sport with you that's mean this is what Muhammad likes so why he married Khadija Khadija was all Muslim agree all the Muhammadan that she was the richest woman in Quraysh so the filthy man, he is marrying an old woman, have many kids before him, just for the sake of her money. But if he is free to choose, he will marry a child like Aisha. And the purpose of this ethical prophet is to sport with her. And now this is need somebody who have a, he is, he's a doctor in physiology, so he can explain to us how be the file is amused with a child for this is an ethic of pedophile pedophile they are amused with the children 
they love children in a very ugly way so what the Muslim tried to say to you when he said that Jesus the Christ is a Muslim they are saying to you forgive me Lord I will use now the name of Isa that their Isa was a pedophile their Isa was a child molester their Isa was a criminal minded like Muhammad who advised people to have sex with the children and here you notice in the story the story confirmed that they are children read carefully when Muhammad he said to him why you don't marry a child so she could sport with you and sport with her amuse with you I said to him Abdullah died he failed murder in Uhud and left nine or seven daughters behind him I therefore do not approve the idea that I should bring a girl like them people do you see that the man saying to the filthy Muhammad that this is will be a girl like them so he have orphans He have what the guy he have seven to nine orphans they are girls little tiny girls and Muhammad is advising him to get one more girl so he can have a sexual assault on her so I did not approve look this man he have a way better ethic than the fatty Muhammad therefore I did not approve of the idea that I should bring a girl like them but I prefer to bring a woman remember this is the Mohammedan translation I prefer to bring a woman which means she can take care of them adult a growing woman not a child like them so when a Muslim he say that Jesus was a Muslim the purpose is to insult your Lord Christ and to make him a pedophile, a child molester, sex offender. I will stop here so you can download the video and I will go live again on air, maybe in 20 or 30 minutes from now. Are we good with that? Because I noticed that the videos are taking so long in YouTube to download when they are long. However, you guys can come back very fast, right? Right now we have like, we just started, we have 600 people almost. Uh, so in 20 minutes from now we will continue in a series where why Muslim they say Jesus is a Muslim and you can change the name of the video you say Dr. Sabir accusing Christ to be a, a, a bit of file Dr. Sabir accusing Christ to be a child molester like Muhammad Dr. Sabir insulting Jesus saying he approved having sex with the children because this is what it's mean to say that Jesus was a Muslim prophet for this is the best of Islam person teaching such a thing and he practiced it not only teach it all right so we will go with this uh, topic for now guys we will be back about 20 minutes from now you uh, just watch the the, the fr front page you will be updated i will i will create a video right away for a podcast immediately so you can see it and you can join the chat all right thank you very much for being here please download the videos again please change the title wouldn't make it all of you the same because that will make it appear in the same page which is not really uh, the right thing to do just do, uh, you know do some changing based on the topic just, just keep the topic but do a change all right and thank you very much and don't forget to download the previous video and again it changed the name of the previous video because all of you you are copying the video put it there in the same name so it's appear in the same page everywhere in youtube and the result of that only the same viewers will come to one video all right we will be live again in 20 minutes from now thank you very much and may the lord bless you this is a christian prince the islamic destroyer the muhammad buster allah spanker and here we have no mercy with liars you insult our lord the messiah we will teach you how to behave from your books from your reference you've been served and get busted thank you god bless you and see you in 20 minutes